Good morning. It's uh, day 22 of our trip. It's September 24th, a Friday, I believe. I don't know. We're losing track of the days. We're in Davenport, Iowa right now, out of Hampton, our favorites. And uh, we're about to head and see if we can't find antique archaeology of the famous Pickers, American Pickers. Phase. How much you got to have for that? Exactly. No Frank, though, apparently. So, no, Frank's uh, gone, but Frank's you know gone, what? And Odds are we're not going to see anybody that we know. We won't but, see Danielle. Uh, we won't see no, no, no Mike, Robbie, no, no Mike. Robbie, yeah. Yeah, no, no jo Jersey John or anything like that. Exactly. But then, but we are going to be at the place. Yeah, That's we'll just cool. photo up to you know. And then after that, we're headed south, oh, south and east a little bit through Indianapolis, and ending up tonight in Dayton, Ohio, and. Uh, <laughs> and for the night, after another 400 and some odd miles that we're going to travel, another late start for us, but you know what? <laughs> we get there when we get there. We're enjoying ourselves. We're relaxed. This is good stuff right now. I'm telling you. Later. And here we are on our way to antique archaeology, archaeology in La Clea, Iowa. The famous American Picker joint. Pretty excited. Not gonna lie. Absolutely. How much you gotta have for that? <laughs> I appreciate ya. <laughs> in the meantime, life in Iowa is, well... Corny. <laughs> <laughs> rather corny. I'm Mike Wolf, and I'm Frank Fretz, and we're Pickers. We travel the back roads of America looking for rusty gold. We're looking for amazing things buried in people's garages and barns. What most people see as junk, we see as dollar signs. We're here, man. This is like one of my favorite TV shows ever. <laughs> someplace before. Carl, any idea where I might have seen that before? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Blow off the dust, leave the 
rust If there's a little diamond in the rough They're gonna find it From my wood to Tennessee And every little dirt road in between They're gonna find it One man's trash is another man's treasure And here comes the American picker If there's a bike, if there's a sign, there's no doubt that Frank and Mike are gonna find it. Daniel's back home tracking leads, telling the boys where the good stuff be, they're gonna find it. One man's trash is another man's treasure, here comes the American picker. Mississippi River. And it is a grand old gal, isn't she? So Look at that. From the distance. Use the right lane to take exit 1 onto Illinois Route 84 towards Savannah. Entering Illinois. We're on our way to racetrack number 10. How could that be a dead animal in the middle of a bridge over the Mississippi? That's crazy. Anyway, we're on our way to racetrack number 10, Cordova International Raceway. It's a drag strip. And that'll round off a decade of tracks. At the next stop sign, turn. Hey, Bill, what, what are we riding next to? cheapest we paid was $2.89 and that was in uh, Kansas or Missouri. Something like that. I don't know, 15 states ago. <laughs> into Illinois for the actual trip to Dayton uh, for a stop for the night. Had a wonderful morning. Wonderful morning. Uh, all kinds of adventures already. We hit track number 10. We went, did some American picker action and uh, got a really late start now. It's, uh, like I said, it's, one, it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And we're just starting and we got 400 and some odd miles, to, miles go. to go. Yeah. So, yeah. It's okay. Stop. That's okay. Hey, 
we're enjoying ourselves. That's right. So away we go. So here we are driving in a beautiful, beautiful sky, Illinois, uh, en route. 74. 74 East. Interstate 74. And uh, it's an old school interstate. Not a lot of traffic on a Friday afternoon. Plenty of cornfields and wheat fields and just real nice. However, we had to make a correction. Earlier in the day, we just we thought that the uh, time zone change was already in. A, in uh, we thought it was like the formed by the Mississippi River between Illinois and Iowa. Right. Well, it wasn't. We were wrong. We're still in the central time zone, and the border from central to eastern time zone is actually the Indiana-Illinois border, which is still 100, more than 100 miles ahead of us, two, two, 300 miles ahead of us, so we're not there yet. Yeah, I only have one thing to say. What's that? What's this wee shit? I didn't What's say that. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we thought that. It's true. You know what? My best buddy lies and I'll swear to it, so it's all good. <laughs> Are you shocked? Sea level's only 500 feet. We're not in the mountains anymore. We're on our way back to civilization. And I don't know any other words. <laughs> this the uh, sign that officially welcomed us to Indiana. But we are in Indiana now, so yay! Yay! <laughs> and we're doing a pit stop in Brownsburg, Indiana. Hey Bobby Evans. Hey Bobby. Hey Bobby Evans. Indiana, uh, now it's out the front window. Indianapolis. 
Not my Indianapolis. <laughs> no, no, not the Speedway, just the. Uh, There's only the one city. thing in Indianapolis. <laughs> There's only oh, one wait thing. a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, coming through at 7:25 Eastern time. <laughs> Yeah. We uh, did a lot of playing today. Well, we had a good day. good day. We didn't get started until pretty late, so like noon. <laughs> 